rest on your feet and you'll get along fine. Playing with the big boys now, you got it? Got it. Got your cover. You point and I shoot. I'm there. Excuse me, Miss Weathers. Uh, could I have a minute? No. Just one second. I, I know you probably get this all the time, but I just wanted to say I'm such a big fan of your work. I just finished your book. I, I couldn't put it down. Insightful, probing. I just really, really loved your book. Thank you. Sure. Yeah. I'm a writer myself. I just write for the local paper, for the Post Telegraph. I'm Debbie Salt. I took your seminar in Chicago last year. I was the one in the front row asking all the questions. I thought you looked familiar. Oh, well, thank you. Um, I can't wait to see the movie. You know, you must be getting quite a lot of flack on that, right? With all the violence and cinema issues. What is your position going to be? No comment. Miss Weathers, please. I, it would be such an honor for me if I could just get, get a quote from you for my okay. story. Begin quote. Great. <laughs> your flattering remarks are both desperate and obvious. Ouch. End quote. Wow. Uh, Gail, what are you doing here? Do you think these murders are connected to Sidney Prescott? Weathers, what's you your theory on these murders? Yet? What's what your feeling about, about this? Yeah. Yeah. So it's definitely not suicide. Thank you. Oh, hi, you're just getting here. It's not good. It's a single victim sorority girl. I've got a deadline. Gail, hi. So who do you what think? What about Sidney's father? Has he been ruled out as a suspect? Well, he's supposedly out of the country on business, but that sounds a little fishy, don't you think? I'm not here to do your job, Miss Salt. What about this ex-cop Dewey Riley? It's kind of strange that he should. Well, it just seems to me that if the killer is repeating what happened in Woodsboro, it's quite possible that the killer could be from Woodsboro. That's all. No, you look great. How are you holding up, Gail? I'm sorry, Bobby. Right. Huh. With the it must be scary here knowing now. somebody's out there waiting and watching, enjoying all this. How does that make you look, feel? Look, local woman, I know that you hold me up as your career template, and it gives you some sort of charge to challenge me, but give it a rest. You're right, I'm sorry. It's my, it was the wrong time, I'm sorry. It's right in the middle of a story. I've got your goddamn story! What's the matter? I'm right here! This is an emergency! Get me the police! What's happening? The killer is cotton fucking weary! Cotton weary? I've seen pictures of you. It's called a makeover. You should try it. Look a little tired yourself there, Gail. We met on the internet, psycho webs. Made it 97 active serial killers in the country today. One on the way up. All he needed was a little guidance in her. Oh, Mickey. There's not gonna. Two birds, one stone. Mickey was a good boy, but my God, that whole blame the movies motive. Did you buy that for one second? <laughs> Poor boy was completely out of his mind. And you're not. No, I'm very sane. My motive is in his 90s as Mickey's. Mine is just good old-fashioned revenge. You killed my son, and I can't think of anything more rational. No, of course I will. Everything's traceable back to Mickey, including the cop gun he used to kill everybody. But let's just suppose that you had gotten hold of the other cop's gun, and you chased Mickey, and there was a big shootout, a big scuffle, and you shot Mickey, killed Mickey dead. But not before he got off one shot at you. Hey, are there any questions? Who gives a flying fuck anyway? Let him try and track down the second possible killer. Debbie Salt doesn't exist. What did you just A negative, disparaging remark about my son? About my Bill? It's not wise to patronize him with a gun, Sydney. Randy spoke poorly of Billy, and I got a little knife happy. You know what makes me sick? I'm sick to death of people saying that it's all the Why don't you blame your mother? She's the one who stole my husband and broke up my family. And then you took my son. You don't know what it is to be a mother. To raise a child and teach him. And God... Please! <laughs>
I have had a very, very bad day, and I would like to know exactly what Sydney. Cotton, meet Billy Loomis's mother. She's the killer. The other killer. Look, Cotton. So. I can still help you, Cotton. You don't need her. Let me kill her. The lead story. That's what you really want, isn't it, Cotton? Just let me kill her right now. Then you're the only survivor. You're the star. She sent you to prison for a year! No, Cotton, don't you listen to her. Oh. Cotton. I mean, she makes a good point. <laughs> Let me think about this. Maybe you should, too. 